Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone time. Alright, just finished Heroic Molten Core, and Blackrock Spire comes out, so it's time to take on that mouthy dickhead. Get ourselves some more cards, although the first one is pretty lame. I looked at the treasure chest. Core Rager, 4-4 four, four for 4, and if your hand is empty when you play him. He gets plus 3, plus 3. Not my favorite, and it's class specific, so yeah. Um, I'm sure someone will get good use out of it. I'll probably k get killed by it later, but right now it does not seem that thrilling. But who we got? Greetings, Slayer of Ragnaroks. Um, what are you doing in Blackrock Spire? Dumbass. Hi, Lord Omok. Me smash. Yes, pay one, destroy a random damaged enemy minion. Interesting. So, I don't know what deck would be good against that. My decks are currently not fantastic. Uh, just go with a standard Warlock deck. I hope this is a standard Warlock deck, because if this is a non-standard Warlock deck, it's probably not very good. But I think this should just be my regular Warlocky sort of deck. I assume he's playing like tons of whirlwinds and warriory stuff, so he's going to be killing all my things one at a time. And it's probably going to go horribly, but we're going to give it a shot. I've noticed that uh, generally the uh, the non-heroic things have actually been getting they they've usually been relatively easy puzzles to solve still. But oh yeah, we got a real genius here. But it seems very. Uh, it's tended to be very difficult to uh, to just to beat them with a normal deck has been more of the issue. I'm gonna play the Mac Warper. I'm thinking I should almost have just like drawn a card because he's probably gonna start whirlwinding and crushing things. You should be celebrating, friends. I'm... That guy's big. Ah, that should help a little bit. Alright, it's ogre time. I wonder if the heroic version of this, like, is... Zero mana, destroy all damaged enemy minions. Like, probably something like that. Like, your guys damaged, they just don't survive. Do you, is it too early to enhance a mechano? I mean, I'm sure he's going to start murderizing my guys soon. So if I can't have any, like, damaged ones... Uh, let, let's enhance a mechano. I do have a lot of guys out there. Oh my god, did I just win? <laughs> Uh, let's see, I might want to save him to kill the ogre, although honestly, probably not if he's already got World Wind Fury. I might want to use this guy to take that out, because this he can use to damage one of my guys, and then, yeah, you know, pound him. He will get a card for it, but he's only going to have four mana. How much? How many cards can he spend? Yeah, I know he's got Wind Fury and it's kind of bad, but I will get a spare card for him. If you get a card. I think I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to suicide this guy. In fact, I'm doing that specifically to protect this guy. And I got a finicky cloaking field. Awesome. I mean, it doesn't help against him, but he can't be targeted by spells. What? Deal five damage to a random enemy. Screw you! And he gains five armor out of it. Screw you and that Peggle. Oh, so pissed off. Play this, and I guess we're going to kill Ogre Time there because he's just going to pay one mana and blow up my guy. It's not worth it with three damage. Nat Peggle, Nat Peggle. Okay. That is a lot of armor he's got all of a sudden. He is much less dead than he was like a few seconds ago. Ogre Time. 
Does he actually say Ogre Time? Because I've been saying that all the time, but that's kind of cool. Um, do I siphon his soul? I'm thinking yes. He's pretty friggin' dangerous. Does raise my health, which doesn't necessarily help for that, but eh, we're gonna do it. Because it leaves me enough mana to play this guy. And I do have a fair amount of army out so far. He's got to start picking up the pace. He hasn't been drawing his whirlwind attacks or what? Man, does he ever have a lot of, like, armor gain. Ugh. So he gained net two, three cards, depending on how you count it that turn. He, he like, gained two cards. Yeah. It depends if you drew that one. Whatever. But he also gained eight armor. It's still pretty stally. Didn't actually get him very far. Draw a card. Sludge Belcher is pretty good. I mean, he's less good because he's going to get damaged if he gets ki uh, killed if he gets damaged. <coughs> so, he can knock off all his armor so he can't do any crazy armor-based moves, which he probably has. And five is pretty low, but I can't actually kill him, so well, we'll just go with Sludge Belcher. He's got to do something pretty impressive right now, though. Oh, that can hit me, too. Oh, that's not good for him in this case. Wow, he does that, and then he doesn't spend the mana to blow him up. Good job. People And, and people ask why I make fun of the computer's AI. I believe you did. So the problem with that is, we never got to see what his actual plan is. I mean, he's got her, that's like, helping him out, but... He did nothing. Probably why he gave such a crappy card. But I think we're gonna get more threat out of whoever this is. Did you take a wrong turn? The back button is at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, yeah. General Drakisa. There's an intense gaze. Passive hero power. All his cards cost one. Oh, all cards cost one. Players are capped at one mana crystal. What? That is messed up. I bet he has a weapon and that would make him pretty dangerous. That is messed up. What am I going to use? All cards cost one, but there's only one mana crystal. I guess I'm going to use Druid. There's only one mana crystal, but I can still potentially innervate. Plus, I've got ways to gain oh, mana crystals, Union. potentially. I have no idea what that's going to be like. On <laughs> <coughs> Golfing fit. Eh. I'm going to probably keep this ring. Oh, the Druid of the Fang is, you know, he's not going to be as super powered, but I should probably keep the Wrath just in case. I won't pitch him, even though there's no beast. <laughs> Amber of Thor's son. <laughs> He may not be able to, he may actually not work. Since all cards cost one, that may just be, like, fixed. And players, oh, players are capped at one mana crystal, so I can't gain one. On the other hand, that means my mana crystal gaining stuff should just turn into more cards. I'm hoping I can still, like, innervate and play two things. No, his power does not work. Good to know, I'm glad I found it out right away. Destroy a minion, gain ten armor. Wow. Nice card. Uh, the beast, he'll probably kill it, but if he doesn't, then I can do it to the fang. Yes, Rakasaf. Adventurer, you are still on the wrong side of the mountain. Snakes. It has to be snakes. I'm a little worried about this guy, though. Mogor, that's not helping. Uh, Force of Nature would maybe take him out. It might not, because everyone attacks randomly with him out. Uh, if I silence him, then I can use this to kill that. Got a lot of damage to do, though. Uh, 
I think I gotta do that. Because using him to barely kill that is pretty efficient. Death's Bite. That's not gonna be good for him. We better take out Morgor now. Glad he didn't, because he'd easily afford the health. Aww, oh, it's Kilfazad. Kneel before Zod. <laughs> Things are looking up. I'm sure he has a way to kill him, and I'm sure he prioritizes the crap out of killing Kelfazad. Yes. Not surprised. But he did get me a free 7 7 and eat one of those death cards, so. Hooray. I'm. I've taken a horrendous amount of damage, apparently. Creeps up on me pretty quick. Like, damn. I mean, I can't play hero abilities either. I didn't even think of that. Um, let's get some taunt out there. The drawing cards doesn't seem quite as relevant. I still want to... I need to find out, just for research purposes, if I can innervate. Twisting Nether. Really? You dink. Um, I'm guessing that doesn't work either, but I'm going to play him anyway. Strongly suspect that doesn't work. If, if Thorazan doesn't work, this probably doesn't work. And it doesn't matter. Oh my god. If your opponent has 15 or less health, gain plus 3 plus 3. That's pretty bad. He's still a 6-6, six, six, even if I owl him down. Force of Nature plus these two is not enough to kill him. Wrath plus him, it would take this as well. Like a full 3 damage Wrath. Or I could Owl him and use these two to kill it. I have to take it out either way. Guess that's what we're doing. We are losing though, like losing hard. So what is the strategy for this? I mean, other than just playing a whole bunch of crazy fat stuff. It has to be Snake. As mind games try and hose you for your playing all kinds of crazy fat stuff. Um, that's not as threatening. I might just get out another guy. Because having more cards to choose from would probably help. <coughs> Alex Straza, obviously good. But again, that's just like playing lots of crazy fat stuff. The question is, what do I do to actually, like, how does this get worse later? I need to draw an innervate so I can find out if it friggin' works. Probably doesn't. Which would be really nice. Let's say they're capped at one mana crystal. I don't think zero cost cards is necessarily a win though. I mean, yeah, you could play more things in a turn, but they'd have to be pretty impressive ass cards. I bet your shadow step. I mean, you can't you can't change the cost of cards. I'm guessing so the shadow step's not going to work. I, there are a few things you could use to get stuff out faster. Maybe unstable portal, not particularly useful. Meanwhile, I got to deal with this crap. Uh, I don't think I have much choice but to force of nature. Can't do force of nature combos anyway. Get myself a 3 3. And yeah, I'm pretty low, so we're going to take out these guys too. For, for this difficulty, I can just play better fat things, just like loads of legends, things that are way better than a 7 7. And everything is overpowered and overpriced, and that that's fine. Mind control. Yeah, Priest deck is pretty solid. But I don't know what to actually... I don't know how to actually defeat this on uh, when, when he gets tougher. Because he's got to get tougher at the higher difficulty. I have to keep trading everything. Like, I can't even... I can't remotely get ahead with regular cards. Wow, he wastes a heal bot. That's funny. Yeah. This deck is not as good as I thought. Although I was counting on getting an Innervate so I could friggin' try it. I just want to see if the Innervate lets me play three things. It probably doesn't, but 
the whole point is like I need to find that out. It is an important detail. Run half my deck, no inner baits. Oh, and I'm dead. So I don't even friggin' find out, you piece of crap. Uh really frustrating. I'm I'm assuming it doesn't work. Since you can't change the cost of things, when it says you're capped, I'm gonna I'm guessing you're capped. Okay, so he's pretty rough. We're gonna go back and very quickly make a ridiculous priest deck. New deck. Priest. Seven plus mana. Mind control. Is there any stuff that costs less than that that I want? Probably light bombs. Light bombs are pretty strong. In case things are going wrong. Shadow Madness, not gonna help very much. Holy Fires, or maybe, I'll come back for them. Shadow or Death, probably good. Can I do better? I don't know. It's still, it's pretty darn effective. Uh, Thought Steel, maybe. Get me some of his ridiculous cards. But, uh, oh, Resur Resurrect. It's not actually gonna be better than just having more guys, probably, because the guys are gonna be crazy. Do I want the zero mana cards? Because it does let you play an additional cards in a turn. You know what? Circle healing, probably worth it. Probably can manipulate things. It is still a weak card, but you can draw a certain number of weak cards and have, not have it mess you up. The drawing card things like Mind Vision are probably actually bad because they spent you waste your whole turn doing that. Over on this side, uh, Baron Geddon, maybe. Kel'Thuzad, definitely. Ghoul, probably. Force Tanks might come back for those. They're pretty sweet. Uh, Edredomo Executus. No, can't use Ragnaros's power, so what the stupid. Actual Ragnaros, though, fine. Uh, Mechanir Thermoplugs, pretty rough. Isera would give me more cards, but I can't play more cards, so it's actually kind of mediocre. They have no powers, so the Giants probably aren't that good. Do I want Deathwing as a backup? It does discard all my cards, but the cost of discarding all your cards is lower than normal, so probably want Deathwing. Horse tanks are pretty strong. Ragnaros is still a maybe. Look at the uh, six mana stuff. Thorzan is a noob. Not useful. We are going to want the pilot. Sky Golem is pretty good. Mogor is also pretty good, potentially. Uh, Maxna can possibly kill two things. I mean, when the casting cost doesn't matter, it's actually interesting. Uh, Sunwalker is pretty decent. I only have one Sunwalker. Wow. And... Frost Elemental is tempting. Okay, let's knock off this. Mana cap. You know, he probably has no drawback, but he has no advantage either. You just play a bigger guy. Uh, Fugan and Stalag, eh, I'm not going to have any way to draw them particularly. Can I get the Grim Patron thing going? Probably not. Matter Bomber. Greenskin, no, I'm not going to have weapons. Faceless Manipulator, um, yeah. We're going to have Faceless Manipulators because if Kel'Thuzad lives for one turn, copy him. Then I'd win. It may be unlikely, but it is definitely a way to win. Um, any lower cost guys? It's going to be harder to, for them to make it worthwhile. Hanson Meccano is pretty good. Not being quite as fast as I thought I was. Uh, Baron Rivendair, do I have Death Rattle? Like, with Mechanir your Thermoplug, that'd be pretty rough. But otherwise, I don't have a lot of the right stuff for that, so probably not. There's really very little reason to play anything remotely cheap, because... Although... I mean, my opponent will always have enough cards for that, but that doesn't matter. <coughs> Um, can I get enough cards for the Hand Giant? Probably not. Could play the Molten Giant. Yeah, because I'm not going to have enough cards to make him cost less than... Like, he wouldn't cost less than one. Anyway, everything is set to one. And if everything's set to one, the Molten won't work, actually. So that's... never mind. (sighs) 
Would the target dummy be worth a slot? I mean, he wastes an enemy attack, potentially, for zero mana. Still seems pretty lame. Heal thing, uh, destroying weapon. I didn't see him have any weapons, so that's probably not as important. Makes me wish I had more crazy legends, because I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have crazy enough legends to make it worthwhile. Mad scientist would be good if I was playing a deck with secrets potentially. Although then again, he's still so weak on his own. Is he's just letting you tutor for a specific secret? That'd still be good actually in a mage deck. If this doesn't work, we'll go mage deck. But I'm pretty sure the mind control should just win the game. Circle of healing should actually help a lot in winning the game. Uh, the alarm robot would cost the turn to play, so no. Big Game Hunter would give me a guy and deny one of his. That's actually pretty good. I'm glad I checked. Uh, so Mush Guy might be okay. Like, Charge Guys might be okay. Troll Reaver, not so great. Yeah, I think uh, Leroy, I guess, for the finisher. And Sludge Belcher still wastes enemy time. They don't have unlimited, like, of the best fat guys ever. So we'll take that. And then uh, Mogor's pretty good. And we want the Rock Tears. Baron Geddon, why not? I might, might be able to manipulate things. Stormwind Champion is only a 6 6, but he can help someone else win a fight potentially. And how did Ragnaros get pulled out? That was weird, because I'm sure he was in. So yeah, okay. I've done that even faster. I might regret not putting in the uh, five damage heal five things, but whatever. Let's go kick this guy's ass. I don't know what he's gonna be like on hard though. I'm somewhat concerned. And he already has 50 health and has cards that gain him 10 bloody armor while killing your guy. Like, that's pretty efficient. Kelfazad, we'll see how that works out. Uh, do we want to keep this hand? Probably. Rocketeer, Rocketeer with Kel'Thuzad would be good, but I have to play some other stuff first to get rid of his, like, to draw out his Doom cards. I could have maybe manipulated my legends to be, or my creatures to be a little bit heavier on defense to take advantage of the Light Bomb. Uh, Trogzor, huh? Trogzor is not good. We don't like that. Cast a spell, summon a really rock draw trog. Yeah, not casting a spell this turn. We're going to play the Sludge Belcher, who gets a little bit bigger. Give me an ooze when he dies. Alright, he hasn't played any of his kill spells yet, so he might he probably doesn't have one in his hand, because I think he would have taken out the Stormwind Knight. So we're going to try and kill the Zod things out. Even though I'm basically just getting back the slime. The slime still stops an attack. Look, go play some ranked mode. He didn't. I was worried that he was saving a card, saving one of his kill cards in case of that, but he's not. And I just got the faceless manipulator, mega win. Easy mode engaged. Um, uh, it's okay if Kelthazad dies because I have another Kelthazad. So yeah, take that. I really should have done it the other way, probably, but whatever. Oh, let's kill this thing. Nothing. <clears throat> he can't. Oh, he has the twisting nether. Oh, you bastard. So I don't automatically win. That is unfortunate. 
Well, let's get... This is a good, pretty decent combo with Thermoplug, as far as these things go, because he might give me more guys. Wow! He pulled out the best possible guy. Wow! I can Alexstrasza you. That takes precedent over even Thermoplug. You lose a lot of health. And, yeah, Doom Mall Shaman... Just about the best thing you can possibly get for four when you don't have to pay the four mana. You go ahead and command that. That's fine. I gave you a bunch of armor, which is annoying, but you're friggin' doomed. Uh, do I copy this? It won't have... Is that not like it has charge or anything? I think I'm gonna play Thermoplug. And next turn I can probably finish it with the Rocketeer, even if he kills one. I forgot he had the Twisting Nether to possibly survive thingy, but that doesn't matter. You are mega dead. I'm somewhat concerned about what he's going to be like on the higher difficulty. It's going to be a little bit crazy. Get the Dragon Consort, which is kind of cool. 5-5 five, five for 5, Battle Cry. The next dragon you play costs 2 less. There are some dragons that are not as expensive, eh? I mean, first off, you can just... If you play this turn 5, you can play a turn 7 dragon. Works out perfectly. You could also play this and play a fairy dragon immediately for free. Probably not as big a deal. But if you coin out a Dragon cons Consort on turn 4 or something... And or even just you play it on turn five. The next turn you can play an Azure Drake for three mana. Four four spell power draw card. Pretty sweet. And there are gonna be even more dragons coming out. Hell the second dragon consort is cheaper. So last up, I'm gonna take a look at him and see what his power is. Rend Blackhand. Pays two mana, summon three one one whelps, and get a new hero power. So he changes hero power all the time. Is it just? I hope it's get a new hero power from like the hero cards, not from boss cards, because god damn, if he got a random power from like bosses. From all the bosses, that would be insanity. He could get some that would totally screw everything, and it would be so random fighting him. I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty rough fight either way, but we're going to have to see next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button.